Welcome to Kamoli Talk and today we say stop shedding your pubic hair till you watch this. Women shaving their pubic hair is different than using the razor on the legs or on the arms. You need a bit of more patience and care because of this sensitive zone and thicker hair type. You might be able to get her with a hurry up and get it done with other areas, but not this one. Here we will show you how to get a close, safe shave while avoiding common problems like nicks, irritation, redness, itchiness, and ingrown hairs. It's a very easy one. It could take you 15 to 30 minutes. And here is how. Choose your shaving cream wisely. For those sensitive body zones like this one, be sure to get and use a very good shaving cream or gel. Using soap is a no-go zone, that's a definite no. The art of shaving and scented shaving cream is phenomenal for getting a smooth shave moisturizing skin and preventing ingrown hairs. Don't skimp on your razor. Stay clear of the straight, cheap disposables or you'll be asking for cuts and nicks. Instead, use a razor with a pivoting head and multiple, multiple blades to give you a smooth, close shave. If you have any sensitive skin issues, you may need to use a quality razor with a single blade. Give a haircut. Trim hair down fast as short as possible by placing a comb flat on the skin and trim over the comb with scissors or with clippers using the shortest guard. The less hair you start out with means you eat up less life of your razor and use a sharp tool when working the razor close to your skin. Take a warm bath or shower. A couple of minutes of the heat will soon soften the skin and relax the hair follicles. The amount of time that works best for you may vary. For some women, it's five minutes. And for others, it's 10 minutes or a little more. Exfoliate. Get rid of dead skin cells and get a closer shave by using a mild exfoliator or your favorite body wash with, an, with a washcloth. Apply some pre-shaving oil. Working as a barrier on your skin, the razor will glide easier instead of dragging and also moisturize the skin. This also helps to prevent the razor burn, general irritation and ingrown hairs. These oils can be found in pharmacy and in beauty care stores. Apply a shaving cream or gel. Make sure the skin is damp but not overly wet. If you have a shaving brush, work the product with the brush in circles to help the hair lift up so you can get a closer shave. And that is a must. The shaving cream or gel is a must. Then, here comes the real act, shave. Using a fresh blade, first go in the same direction of hair growth and then in the opposite direction. Remember not to go over the same area too many times. Rinse in between strokes. Be sure to always remember to rinse the blade. A clogged razor blade won't work well. 
that would rather bring you skin issues. Cleanse. Rinse the skin thoroughly and lightly pat dry with a soft towel to avoid irritations. Moisturize. Apply a light, preferably unscented lotion or aftershave lotion. As you keep going, fight the readiness. There's a tendency of getting ingrown hairs, flawless ingrown hair serum will help with the bumps and ingrown hairs. Keep all the products on the outside of your body only. Avoid shaving during your period as the skin is more sensitive. If you are taking off most of your hair, have a Gino Shield will offer you protection. So you don't cut your inner valve. Using a small mirror will also come in handy so you can have a better view. Shaving while taking a shower rather than a bath can make things easier because you can prop up legs on side of the store. If you are daring, you can create pubic hair designs at home. Shaving only takes hair even with the skin. Waxing will keep hair away, wax at a time. You may want to consider Brazilian wax as well. So for this, you'll need a comb and a scissor or clippers, a new pivoting razor with multiple blades, shaving cream or gel, pre-shaving oil, shaving brush, which is actually optional, cortisone cream if your pubic hair starts getting itchy, and the light and scented moisturizer. Now you can go have a clean shave. I'm sure the video is helpful. It will help you avoid the bumps, the itches, the redness. Enjoy your shave. Thank you for watching Kamoli Talk where A is always A. Please subscribe to our channel for more of these tips.